Welcome back to Ballistic High Speed. Today we're going to be wrapping up a trilogy of steel plate videos. Um, as a reminder, this is AR550 steel, and we're going to be using shotgun rounds. Yep. So we brought back out the Remington 870, and we're just going to run through a series of some of your more popular rounds. Yep. We've got birdshot, double op buck, rifled slug, and then we get to the interesting stuff. We have a re-engineered flechette round from Phoenix Rising. So we're going to see how that flies, and instead of ripping through the gel blocks, we're gonna get to see him smash. So I think that's gonna be cool. This is a slug that has a incendiary tip on it. So it's supposed to be a little bit more capable in terms of uh, penetration ability, but it's just gonna be sparks and show, I think, yep. against something like this. And then as a grand finale to really do the steel plate in, this is an armor piercing slug from Phoenix Rising. This is supposed to penetrate just about anything. I'm curious to see it. I'm really excited for that. Uh, that's what the guy told me. I don't know much about this, but we're certainly gonna give it a try. That'll be the grand finale. But yeah, this should be just as fun as satisfying as the handguns and the rifle videos. So yeah. if you haven't seen those, I'll put some links in the description to go check out those videos first. Um, but yeah, this should be a good wrap up for the trilogy. I'm really excited to see the slug. Yeah. I, want, I want to see it's if it does be a like... lot of metal going yeah. on there. Alrighty, let's load it up. Let's do it. Cool. It's gonna be number six birdshot versus steel plate. Interesting. First things first, this is always cool when you're doing shotgun stuff. So that's what's the BBs are oh, all yeah. packed in and then So it kind of looks like it's smushed right there. Oh, you're right. Look at all those little tiny. Look at dots. this. Is that what you were looking at? Oh, yeah, that too. Yep. And then down in our gel, this was used for the nine millimeter Gatling gun. Yeah. So there's upcoming video <laughs> large chunks in there. Those are from nine millimeter, but if you look at the top, there's a small peppering of. Yeah, you can see from the side, they go in eighth inch or so. I'm curious that. what that's gonna look like. I am too. I feel like if they spark, it's gonna be a fireworks show. And I don't know that I've actually seen a birdshot versus a plate like that. Well, that's why we're here. Oh, that's a fireworks show. It turns into so much dust that the second half kind of gets covered up in all that mess. First few are really cool. Some of them don't spark and some of them do. Yeah. Awesome. There's so many of these birdshot pellets. Wow. I wonder if you'll start to see fragments being hit by BBs incoming. Oh, honestly, there's a good chance of that. I think I just saw one actually. Cool. Okay, well, not much to say here. Let's move on to buckshot, which should be pretty similar, just bigger. Yep. This is double lot buck, nine pellet versus steel plate. Okay. All right. Hope that was where we wanted it. Yep. Quite a bit more of a thud, and I feel like I heard stuff raining on your yeah. barn. Well, you can tell which ones were buckshot, which ones were birdshot, as far as impacts. That one there at the top looks pretty cool. Do you feel anything? Is there any divot? No dents or divots. Damn. What about gel? Oh, yeah. Can't forget him. Um, Definitely a little... Sticker got splatted into it pretty hard. A little bit lower chunks. Yeah. Ignoring the copper jackets that are in there. Oh, yeah. I see them. They are going a little bit lower. And much more on the board. You're right. Here they come. Oh, so much larger. Oh, wow. Oh my, those look more like little meteors. Yeah. Those aren't just sparks, those are flames. Yeah. You almost wouldn't have been able to see much more as that clouded out as it gets. Good night. Wow. And those flames hang out for a bit. Stickers completely destroyed and we got a lot of pancakes coming yep. off. Well, let's see if we put all of that energy into one slug. 
if yeah. we have a chance at any dit. We've got some one ounce slugs. All right, this is one ounce slug versus steel plate. There. Much better. Really beating up the stand. That's to be expected. Yep. Might want to reinforce that in a moment. Yep, just a little bit. Got a nice good hit on that one. Oh yeah. And then, whoop -ah! Yep, you can see a dent yeah. on the backside. Got some deformation going on. That, cool. gives, that gives me hope that that armor piercing one is actually gonna go through. Yeah. Cause I wasn't sure what to expect well, out of this. If you remember when we did like the, the 454 Casul and the Desert Eagle, those were pretty beefy rounds and there was no deformation on the right. backside. Yeah. That so that slug was some... pretty impressive. Yeah, the gel looks about the same. Yeah, even from this angle. Yeah, I say before we get into those, the ones that are rated for piercing, yeah. let's throw some flechettes at it. I think that's just gonna be a fun shot. Under what? your left foot. What? Is that the slug? What is that? Is that him? I bet that's a pancake from the backside of the slug. Cause remember in the pistols, it, it would stop. left a disc. And then it kept going. I bet that's it. I bet he's fat enough that he... That's the only thing it could be from. Yeah. Oh, watch the edge of the plate. You see the shockwave. Oh, that was a good one. Nice. That looked like the 50 Action Express, but more so. You can see the rifling edges. It's yep. just very slowly turning. The wad running into the debris smashes it apart. <laughs> that was a good shot. And then there it is. There's the pancake, which we found. All right. Well, up next is flechettes. Back. Will they just deflect or will they actually nose first, like smash and crunch? Ooh. That would be pretty cool. That'll depend on the angle though. It'd have yeah. to be perfect. Okay, this is flechettes versus steel plate. Be right there. All right. Okay. Well, I already see some darts in the gel. <laughs> Look, it's, a, it's like you a- You can see dart shapes. <laughs> For those who watched our torso video with the interesting shotgun rounds, we shot flechettes. The problem was most of them went in sideways. Yeah. Right? A few went through straight. So these, completely redesigned by Phoenix Rising, most of these, if not all of these, should be fairly straight yeah. on impact. Well, let's see what it did to the plate. I'm sure not much. Got our sticker once. Oh yeah. You can, you can clearly see we've got bird shot, we've got buck shot, We've got a few slugs that we did, and these little Oops. tiny little dudes. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I would not want that in. Oh, that's almost all the way in there. Surgical removal. So it looks like the tip broke off, and the tip went in over here. Oh yeah. And then there's the back. And they're all smashed. Cool. I bet that looks really cool in high speed. Well, you know what we can do on this channel? Go find out. Watch it in high speed. <laughs> that one looks like a. D <laughs> Okay, we're done. <laughs> oh, it did it. Oh. Those have to be flying like straight, straight then. That Especially one. that one. It collapses in on itself and stops. And you can see it like bend because there's too much. It can't stay straight. Once it's at a high enough velocity, it sparks and breaks apart. And then that slows it down until it can't anymore. And then that's when you get bends and look, at the, look it just bends into yep. a C shape. Oh, that broke in half. Oh, that's how we were finding all those wow. little bits then, yeah. Look at all the sparks everywhere. It just shoves it down that into the is... gel. I didn't know what to expect. I no. wasn't thinking of I didn't think they'd spark. sparks, yeah. Everything's sparking in this so far. Yeah, speaking of sparks, we've got a armor-piercing incendiary right. slug, which Correct. says the tip of it is incendiary. Correct. It says there's a white flash. I don't know what to expect, though. 
I don't it's, either. It's either going to be like Dragon's Breath-esque or it's going to be like that flashbang we did. Somewhere in the middle, maybe. This is the 12 gauge armor piercing incendiary. You oh, see the sparkles that I saw time? some sparkles, yeah. Cool. That looked like it was a pretty good shot too. Alrighty, what'd we get? We got a bunch of smudges. Okay. We're starting to break stuff. Oh, you're right. Lumber's not cheap. Make sure you subscribe. This is true. So this round was considered armor piercing it says on the package? It said armor piercing incendiary. I think it did about... I think it did less than uh, a normal... 30 seconds of an inch of piercing. So where the black smearing is, yeah. bring that back into the center. <laughs> so it did less than, it did a, less normal than a normal slug. slug. What? So much for armor piercing. Some good chunks on the, on the white, as usual. Oh, yep. It said it burns at 3,000 degrees. Burns Nothing too crazy, though. Yeah. Just a lot of wood chips and sticker. That's huge. There. Oh, it's like peeling apart. But where's the armor pierce? That's a good question. I mean, we saw on it, it barely dented it. Oh, look how it gets like jiggly when it finally stops. The back end almost looks like rubber. And those are some big sheets coming off. Okay, so we get a lot of sparks, but not a bright white flash. It looks like one of those crackly fireworks. Like it just sent one of those out. Right. Which yep. is still cool. It's just not it's, what it... It's still got the... Look at it going... It still had a bunch of force in it. It did. Look at that sparkle still going. And our force sticker. sticker. I mean, that's a cool shot. It's just not what it said it was. Yeah. It may have pierced much lower end armor. This is right. AR-550. Because yeah. the package was talking about car doors, which is super thin sheet super metal. Thin. It so. said it could make it through two car doors and have enough horsepower to do the job at the other end. All right. So... So we've got one more armor piercing, armor piercing slug. Yep. 630 grain. Ooh, that's fat. 1400 feet per second. Okay. 2,742 foot pounds of force. My goodness. He was pretty confident that he could send this out to us and it would have a good chance at either going through or big, big dent. On AR-550. Yep. Okay. We'll find out. Well, there's one surefire way to know. To surely fire it. Sure. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I hate me too. All right, bye. <laughs> All right, this is the Phoenix Rising TSS armor piercing slug. In three, two. Dude, it punched through. He wasn't kidding. What? Well, we put a hole in it. We did. So. Almost looks like that 50 cal shot. Okay. Ooh, first. What's the damage? Uh, what? Is there a hole in the, there's a hole in the back. Oh, um, he's hanging out. Where's the bullet? Oh, look. No way. What? That's gotta be it. Oh my goodness. How? It's a ball. That could, no. What? That looks like, um, the tungsten rods like that you TIG weld with. There it is. <laughs> what the world? That's the steel plate. That's like a chunk, a cylinder of the steel what? plate came out. No way. I guarantee that's what that is. It knocked it out and shoved it into the wood. That almost has to be it. Yeah, it's got the same surface texture on yeah. it. Yeah. What? Freaking keyhole it. Interesting. Wow. I think I think we're gonna answer a lot of our questions when we watch high speed. Yeah. Let's we, let's go check that out. Beside myself right now. What? <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's literally just a sphere. Embedded. There's the deformed face of it. 
And there's the other part. And there's the hole. So it's split. Oh, there's the. <laughs> it can't just be steel, right? TSS was tungsten super shot. Okay. And so that ball is 22% more dense than tungsten. Okay. And 56% more dense than lead. Oof. No wonder it barely splatted. It hit the plate so, it, so hard, it punched a hole through it, but it was too big to get through that hole. And so it went It just back. bounced back. So it forced the AR-550 to shear. Yeah. And then just removed it. As almost a perfect like cylinder popped out. And then embedded it halfway into a two by four. Mm -hmm. I think we've got a pretty good trilogy of steel plate episodes now. I got so. handguns, rifles, shotguns. There's not really another category unless we start getting into like frangible ammunition or I don't know, start stress testing with like, we could use the Gatling gun against it. It's not like we're gonna do archery against it. Can you guys think of any other types of ammunition or types of firearms that we should test against a steel plate? We're gonna use some of these rounds that we've already tested in these last three episodes and put it up against actual coated armor yep. that is supposed to be able to contain all of that fragmentation. So I know we've been teasing that for quite a while now, but we wanted to get the three main types of firearms tested against raw plates and then we'll have something to compare it against. We just hit 200,000 subscribers. So sure I feel like it wasn't that long ago. I just said thanks for 100,000 <laughs> subscribers, which has been awesome. Thanks so much. Speaking on that note, make sure you subscribe, yep. like the video, leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions and follow us on social media. We also got our Patreon. This video was up two days ago. Could have watched it. Could have watched it. Yep. And bragging and to all your friends. Also buy some merch. Yes. We are now sourcing locally from a shop here locally where we live. Um, so if you wanna support local small businesses, our merchandise is about to get a lot cheaper and a lot more easy to ship. It'll be packaged and shipped out by either Bryce or myself. Yep, so we're for sure gonna keep the content coming as long as you guys like it. So like I said, subscribing is the best way to do that. And we will see you in the next episode.